Assalamu alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so very pleased to be able to send my warmest congratulations and best wishes to everyone celebrating the Golden Jubilee of Bangladesh here in the United Kingdom, in Bangladesh, across the Commonwealth and around the world. It is a matter of great personal sadness that this global pandemic has so far prevented me from making a visit to Bangladesh to mark this special year. I'm only too aware that the coronavirus has had a, a dreadfully heavy impact on so many lives and livelihoods, and I particularly wanted to express my heartfelt gratitude to frontline workers helping to keep Bangladesh safe during these difficult times, and to the many British Bangladeshis who contribute so much to the National Health Service here in the United Kingdom. Over the past 50 years, I have been fortunate enough to witness Bangladesh's incredible development into the confident and proud partner of today. These achievements have been remarkable, from bringing more than 50 million people out of extreme poverty since 1990, to increasing life expectancy and reducing infant mortality, to turning the economy into one of the fastest growing in the world. As the uh, royal founding patron of the British Asian Trust, I am so proud that the Trust has helped in a small way to support these achievements. Over the past year, the Trust has reprioritized its programs to tackle the pandemic in Bangladesh, which have included setting up COVID-19 sample collection kiosks, uh, building on mental health awareness by providing counselling services and supporting children missing out on school through a virtual education initiative. Bangladesh has also shown considerable leadership on tackling the existential threats from accelerating climate change. We all have a responsibility to address it, individually and collectively. And this will be absolutely crucial as we near another significant milestone in the battle against climate change at COP26 in Glasgow this year. In this regard, I, I particularly welcome the role of the Honourable Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, in chairing the Climate Vulnerable Forum of Nations, most affected by the multiple threats of global warming, climate change and biodiversity loss. The extraordinary talents of your people have been admired and recognised throughout the world, including here in the United Kingdom. The 600,000 strong British Bangladeshi diaspora community underpins the close kinship between our nations. I have seen uh, at first hand the incredible contribution this community has made to all walks of British life, including in tackling this dreadful global pandemic. Our countries have, shared, have a shared history, a shared constitutional commitment to freedom, the rule of law, free speech and democracy, and an affection which continues to bind us in friendship. We come together today in the context of the Commonwealth as friends and beneficiaries of a common heritage. We shall remain together as partners over the years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, I send my fondest wishes to Bangladesh and all those celebrating this very special occasion. Shadinota Ponchash Bochori Bangladesh, Ke Ama Obinandan.